Hey everybody, <clears throat> back again with a review, a resin review. If you watch my CL9000 video, I really screwed up on that one. I didn't realize, but I was playing with the kit, mocking it up with a chassis and doing some other stuff. And I had left a few parts out of it, which I didn't review in the video. I should have used my other CL9000 kit, which had everything in the box. But one of the things that I didn't show was it comes with an air cleaner. A little different than this. And it comes with a radiator. A little different than this one. Actually, it goes like this. I think that's the only things I missed. I'm sure somebody will correct me. <clears throat> but this is the uh, International 9670 Trans Kit. It's a big bunk. Uh, just a really nice kit 124 scale and again it is made to mate with an Italeri Freightliner FLC chassis in Cummins engine which were used in you know the the Freightliner FLC the Ford Aero Max the Ford LTL 9000 the White Western Star the Max Superliner all had that same chassis so he utilized that because it was so plentiful but in this conversion kit, we got the cab. <clears throat> it's a big buck cab. And as you can see here, I was designing the factory stripes to be made into decals. And I never erased it off the cab. <clears throat> Though, I don't think those ever got made. They were on a, one of the brochures for International. Shows you how the cab looks on the back. It's really nice detailing. And the roof. And then it has interior detail. It's hard to see, but the walls have like a, a fabric texture. Cross. But then you got your interior floor, which is huge and weighs like a pound. This should have never been left solid. I mean, I almost want to have that milled out of there because it's, it's, I mean, it's a solid block of resin right here on both sides. And this thing's, you know, once you assemble this whole thing, it's going to be heavy. But got a really nice uh, doghouse detail. Plain bed, a curtain for the sleeper, cab visor, has a lip. I think this is accurate. <clears throat> Dashboard. The uh, dash gauges are decals and they come in the kit. A solid piece and then the outside we have the lower front of the cab where the headlights go we have the lower grille oh, I'm sorry that's the upper grille And got the stack mounts. The mufflers for the exhaust stacks. A diamond tread plate that the battery box sits on that goes on top of the frame behind the cab. A rear mount. For, I think this is for the cab mount. I'm not positive. Oh, little channel with brackets. The lower exhaust elbows. Lower exhaust Y pipe. <clears throat> the 
the cab uh, hinge and uh, lift cylinder mounts. The revised intake for the turbo to the uh, intercooler or aftercooler. New aftercooler for the Cummins. Looks like we got a steering column. Uh, step pockets for the sides of the cab. Uh, this appears to be a hydraulic pump to raise the cab. Oh, this this should be the rear cross member for the cab mounts. Try and hold it where there's no glare. Goes on the frame. Really nice new air cleaner, that's correct. With the piping and the mount. We got clear orange turn signals and clear lenses for the headlights. Here are the dash decals. Got photo etch. Exhaust stack guards. Uh, grill screen. International emblems. This goes above the grill. Uh, some other exhaust stack guards in there. I'm not sure why. Oh, uh, what does that say? It's got some script in there. Oh, 9670 scripts, emblems, uh, Cummins emblems, step treads, international emblems, a little eagle, gas and brake pedals, door handles, uh, your wing window frames or vent window frames, steps, windshield wipers, and I believe those are mirror brackets. It's like inner door handles, eagle emblems. Pretty comprehensive. You know, it has all the stuff you'd want to have for a real nice build. It's all nickel. Looks chrome, but I'm pretty sure it's just nickel. It's polished. Got a clear vacuum formed windshield as in the uh, seal 9000 kit it also comes with a piece of clear plastic which of course you can't see but piece of clear sheet here for the side windows and such comes with the aluminum tubing and styrene and brass to make grab handles exhaust stacks the lift cylinders for the cab that all has to be kind of made from scratch. Then you got this big honking bag of white metal parts. And as I mentioned in the CL9000 video, I don't really like white metal parts because they just add so much weight. And there's really no need for them to be white metal like the bumper. I believe the way he, the reason he made it in white metal so you can polish it. But, I mean, you know, you could take the resin and have a chrome plate or paint it with Molotov and it would look just as good and be a lot lighter. But here's the front bumper. See how it's shaped. Really good detail. And we've got two little vertical mounts. I'm not sure if those are part of the cab mounts or what. I have to look at the instructions. We got the two cylinders for the lift for the cab. The two rods for the cylinders. The correct looking steering wheel. Some grab handles. I believe there's 
three of these and one of the other type, all white metal. Got the mirror heads still on the casting sprue tree, whatever you call it, parts holder. The mirror, God, it's hard to hold these. The mirrors have the spot mirrors on the bottom. And that just needs to give me a little rip. Ah, depend it backwards straight. Or almost straight. Got the shifter. Has a little short has a little short shifter because it sits on top of the doghouse. <clears throat> Got some uh, small handles for the front of the cab and I think for the interior. marker lights they're not chrome in this one but they can be polished and I believe these are the inner door handles hole handles on this one the door panels are mounted already in the cab on the CL9000, they're separate. I was starting to get scared. I'm like, oh, damn, damn, don't, don't tell me he didn't give me the, the door panels. I got this one, or I got two of them, back in 2008. Or actually, 2009. I'm sorry. Uh, May of 2009. Oh, wait. That's for two Cummins 600 engines. I did get these in 2008. Back then... They were 6807 euros. You know, nowadays, if you could even find them, I bet they're triple that. Uh, paid uh, 168.48 for two cab conversion kits, two extra etch sets, and a front steer axle. Gotta have the cool stuff. Can't let the cool stuff escape. Gotta snag it when you can. On the instructions here. Again, if you want to pause the video, you can read all this. Got your parts list. As with the CL9000, the first steps show how the frame needs to be modified. The Italeri frame. Some modification to the engine, the assembling of the rear mounts and tilts mounts on the cab floor, and stuff for the chassis, exhaust mounts, battery box, tray, exhaust pipe. Shows you how to use some aluminum tubing to extend the length of the exhaust pipe. Because like I said, this is a big bunk cab. You know, it's the, the stretched cab. Big, big sleeper. So the stacks end up being a good ways back. Yeah. Shows you how the cab lifts cylinders are supposed to mount the hinge for the cab then starting to work on the interior it tells you how to cut the windshield and how the templates for the side glass more interior work how to fabricate the side steps 
the small steps you see here come in the kit. He gives you brass rod to make these. Everything's included. And we got shows you how your uh, emblems and door handles and step treads are mounted. How the front grill assembly goes together along with the mirrors, the turn signals, cab lights, all that good stuff. And then we got lots of finished model pictures. Building just an awesome truck. Now I'm wishing I wouldn't have sold the other one I, I had. I guess I had an emergency. More than likely medical. I had to let it go. I hate selling stuff, but sometimes I have to. The last page has pictures of the real truck. You know, for reference. And on the rear, it shows... I don't think this is all the kits he had, but quite a number of them. I never got the White Road Commander or the Mac F model. And now I'm regretting it. I really want that Road Commander. I might get it someday. Lots of European trucks. I don't build European trucks, but some will look kind of cool. I do know that he, he captured them, you know, correctly. They look right. Because everything he made was... That's why these kits are called TQ kits. This one's TQ57. And that's for top quality. And they are. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed. Um, I have some other cab kits that are pretty rare. That, you know, you may or may not have seen. I got a Ford N series from Dan Models that I'm going to show. Um, so that's all for now on this one. That covers it. So I'll see ya.